the world's first real money gaming app store has just arrived. Real money games such as traditional casino games, sports betting, and lotteries are not allowed in the Apple App Store or Google Play, which excludes the 48 billion online gaming sector from the global app ecosystem. At the same time, all online real money gaming platforms currently available offer the same set of games, which leaves players with little to no choice. Ready Play Go is a revolutionary platform that offers players access to a wide variety of games and gives game developers the freedom to publish the real money games without worrying about compliance, licensing, or marketing. Game developers and publishers can now submit their games to Ready Play Go and after approval, easily integrate them with our proprietary multi-currency RPG wallet as well as take advantage of marketing tools that allow them to attract a large player base. Ultimately, ReadyPlayGo.com is their one-stop solution for publishing, marketing, and regulatory compliance. For players, Ready Play Go offers the power of choice. With hundreds of thousands of exciting, traditional, as well as innovative social games, with real money rewards as well as fast money deposits and withdrawals. Security and fairness are guaranteed thanks to advanced blockchain technology. What's more, when you use the RPG token to buy chips, you will always get a special bonus. All this and the opportunity to win big playing your favorite games. It's time to experience a brand new gaming world. It's time to Ready Play Go. Welcome back to Usapang Bayan at kasama pa rin natin ang founder and CEO uh, ng Blockchip Philippines Inc. Uh, Yobi, no? Uh, yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina na sinasabi mong uh, people assign value to these uh, 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 tokens or chips. Um, in the case of, let's say, Bitcoin as compared to what you were saying in the RPG token, ang pagkaintindi ko ho doon ay yung, yung token na ginagamit nyo, ang value nun ay dahil kasi magagamit yan sa paglaro ng mga games. Yeah, tama ka, George. Okay. Yung RPG token, uh, ginagamit dun sa App Store namin. Uh, ngayon, libo-libong mga games ang mga ang nakapublish, uh, mapapublish sa uh, App Store namin. Uh, at como global ang reach ng internet at global ang reach ng App Store namin, importante na isang currency lang ang ginagamit. Isang parabang chips na sa casino. casino. Pag nagpupunta ka sa casino, may dala kang piso o dolyar, bibigyan ka ng plastic chip. Yung plastic chip na yun ang ginagamit mo habang naglalaro ka. Parang ganun din ang concept ng so, RPG token. So, mas naintindihan ko yung concept ng RPG tokens dahil kasi parang binibili mo nga yung chips no, sa casino, mm. yun ang ginagamit mo. Pero for example, dun sa Bitcoin, parang hindi ko pa ho masyadong marilate saan pwede gamitin yan beyond the acceptance of people. Uh, sa ngayon, ang Bitcoin, hindi pa widespread ang, ang adoption ng Bitcoin. Pero meron na rin tumatanggap ng Bitcoin uh, as a means of uh, payment. There are oh. places around the world where you have Bitcoin uh, ATMs. And there are people, especially in Japan actually, where people will take Bitcoin as payment for goods and services. Pero hindi ho the same ang ang uh, source of value ng Bitcoin as compared to, let's say, an RPG token? Um, iba ang ibang source ng value ng, ng Bitcoin, iba rin ang, uh, ang source ng value ng RPG. Dahil ang RPG token, ginagamit sa, doon sa mga laro namin, sa App Store namin. There is no other way you can play in our App Store except with the RPG token. Yung RPG token namin, hindi ito siguridad. Ibig sabihin, hindi hindi stock ito, yes. hindi ito, hindi ito pag-aari ng hindi ka nagiging may-ari ng black chip. It's a casino chip. chip. It's a casino chip. Pa yes. it's, a, it's a casino chip ang pinakamadaling okay. explanation. Okay. So, ang tinatawag dito, uh, utility token ang tawag right. dito. Ibig sabihin, itong token na to, isa lang ang gamit. Ang gamit ito para maglaro ng game sa Ready Play Go. But, pero marami kayong iba-ibang games. Ah, marami kami mga games. Sa ngayon, mahalos mga halos mga dalawan libong game na wow. meron kaming uh, ready na ipalabas. Kagagaling lang namin sa China sa, at uh, 
nagpunta kami sa China, nag, nakipag-usap kami sa mga Chinese game developers. Kaya maraming mga developers at maraming mga games ang papasok sa App Store. Okay. Alice, as Chief Marketing Officer, I'd like to ask you, what were the challenges that you've encountered in, ter in terms of selling something that would be relatively new uh, to, 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 to the market that you're selling to? I think that the, the biggest challenge, or we can see it also as the biggest opportunity, is to make people or users familiar with what blockchain is and what cryptocurrency is, right? Because it's just uh, not, not so widespread at this point. So what we've created, we've created different on-ramps. How to get people into cryptocurrency world without uh, the need of them studying or, or, or signing up through, uh, you know, 25 steps. Because if you look at, at the United States, when, when you want to get into cryptocurrency world, it takes 27 steps. So we've created, and we are still working on it, we've created a RPG browser, which is a mining browser. And with two clicks, you will have your Ethereum address. Just imagine that. Uh, and then, um, I, I know that you've been uh, marketing your product to many countries. C can you tell us which countries these are? So we are focusing at this point on Asia and Europe because those are the, the, uh, the largest gaming, gaming markets. We are not focusing on the United States at this point because of the different regulations, Over but regulations. Uh, we will uh, introduce the uh, Ready Play Go App Store in the United States in, in slightly different version where you will have only game of skill and uh, uh, available to users. So in, in uh, your experience with respect to the Philippine market, how, how would you compare us to the other parts of Asia or even Europe? Are, are, we, are Filipinos uh, rather backward in their understanding of cryptocurrencies or are they advanced? Because I know for a fact that for example, in terms of the cell phone usage, we have, we, we're pretty much advanced in that, but how about in cryptocurrencies? I think, uh, honestly, I think that the situation is the same across the board. It doesn't matter if it's Philippines or if it's Japan or if it's Germany, because the, the mass population has some sort of understanding what blockchain is or what cryptocurrency is, but they don't know the nitty gritty of it and it's too complicated. We need to make it very, very simple for people to enter that. It's like the internet. At the beginning, it was so complicated for many, for, for many people. Mm -hmm. like, like programming, programming became simpler over time because the language became exactly. simpler as well. Exactly. So, so Yobi, uh, as the founder and CEO, how would you best explain to your, uh, I guess to your market, why they should want to get some uh, RPG tokens and, and what kind, uh, you know, how do you generate the value in that? How does the value of a token appreciate? So, um, uh, one of the things that we want to do is to not only have people use the RPG token or buy the RPG token and play. Importante din sa amin na palakihin yung, yung, yung virtual pie. I, there's a saying in, in, there's a saying, make the pie bigger. And what we're doing is we're trying to make the pie bigger by making it easy for people na pumasok sa cryptocurrency. Uh, not only in RPG, but in Ethereum. Ang ginawa namin, nag-design kami ng sarili naming browser. So we took the open source Chrome browser and then we changed the code para in two clicks, meron ka ng cryptocurrency. Tapos, itong cryptocurrency na to, 
kino-convert na namin sa RPG. So yung Ethereum na minain mo, kino-convert namin sa RPG, meron ka ng meron ka ng premyo, nanalo ka na. Meron ka ng panlaro ng mga games. So in short, convertible, para naging convertible currency siya. Oh, convertible siya kaagad sa Ethereum o sa o sa ibang currency. Ano ba yung Ethereum? Yung Ethereum uh, yun ang second largest cryptocurrency in the world. Uh, Nag-imbento niyan isang Canadian-Russian na uh, pangalan Vitalik Buterin. Um, it's very popular dahil uh, meron silang inimbento na tinatawag na smart contract. Na, bag, kumbaga, merong kontrata. Pag natupad yung mga, yung mga kondisyon ng kontrata, it, based, it does a payout. Kunyari, may ang sinabi mo, if X happens, Y gets paid. Ganun na nangyayari sa, crypto, sa Ethereum. Kaya naging popular. Ngayon, yung sa amin, yung cryptocurrency namin, ang, ang use nito para talaga sa games, para mag, sa worldwide audience, para pwedeng maglaro yung tiga Tanzania, tiga Nigeria. Pwede sila makipaglaro sa Pilipino na nasa Manila, nasa Cavite, or pwede silang maglaro sa, uh, may kalaro sila sa United States. So more accessible ang RPG token? RPG token is going to be the most accessible okay. token in the world. You were saying that Ethereum is the second uh, largest uh, 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 currency. Uh, what is the largest? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Bitcoin without any doubt is okay. the largest. So, but, but we've seen how... Bitcoin went up to $20,000 per coin and now it's back to about $6,000. I mean, how can we avoid uh, volatilities like that? Um, I don't think that we can avoid volatility. Alam mo, George, uh, naalala ko pa si Professor Munsod sa UP, <laughs> nung, who was my economics teacher. Alam mo, all markets move up and down whether it's the real estate market, the stock market, uh, the price of commodities like rice or, or, or gold, all of these commodities and all of these things move in a market. They go up, they go down. There's really no way. Wala tayong magagawa sa pagtaas o pagbaba. Pero mababawasan natin yung volatility, di ba yung mga stock market betas na ganyan. So in, in at least ang naintindihan ko sa RPG ko, uh, tokens, kung maraming naglalaro dun sa ng mga apps nyo, mas malaki ang demand. So, stable lang. Mas stable ang demand. So, mababawasan yung volatility ng uh, value ng token. Tama ba yun? Tama yun. Dahil, actually, gumawa ako ng, uh, ng algorithm, uh, mathematical algorithm, uh, in the algorithm that we designed. Ang dinesign ko, mayroong mga tinatago the V's or v, v for Victor, no? Number one is volume. Is there enough volume of, crypt, of RPG being used? Dahil App Store kami, bawat laro mo, kailang gumamit ka ng, ng RPG. Now, importante din, velocity. How fast are you using the speed of which the, the, the token is being used? And the third thing is veracity. Ibig sabihin, totoo ba ito? Mapagkakatiwalaan mo ba ito? So, credibility. Credibility. So, with volume, velocity, and veracity, when do all of those are up, the value of the token eh, or the RPG token is maintained and can appreciate. Now, I'm not saying will appreciate because, again, Ang, ang presyo ng lahat ng, kung, uh, ng mga token, like gold again, like the dollar, it depends on the market. There are many conditions. However, como ang, uh, ang RPG, closed system, closed app store, mas meron kaming control dun sa, ano, dun sa gamit ng token namin. So mas malaki ang pag-asa na maging mahalaga siya? Malaki ang pag-asa Pero mahirap din, sabihin. dahil eh, mahirap sabihin, uh, importante na mag-recruit kami ng maraming mga developers worldwide, importante na marami kang games, importante na maraming variety of games, importante na uh, mag-imbita ka ng mga player. Kaya there's a lot of hard work in front of us, 
but this team that we have is very willing to do the hard work okay. for the developers and for the players. Well, uh, we need to have a station break again, and please stay tuned. We will continue with uh, our two guests, Yobi uh, Benjamin and Alice uh, Ballesteros, uh, in a short while. Thank you.